CNN host Anderson Cooper branded the network's May 10 presidential town hall event with Donald Trump disturbing, and told viewers that they have every right to be angry and never watch this network again. Anderson's opening message to viewers began with the host saying, Many of you think CNN shouldn't have given him any platform to speak. And I understand the anger about that, giving him the audience, the time, I get that, the broadcast journalist said during the opening monologue of his CNN show titled, Anderson Cooper 360 Degrees. He continued, the man you were so disturbed to see and hear from last night, that man is the frontrunner for the Republican nomination for president. Further expanding his point, Anderson explained, according to polling, no other Republican is even close. Mike Tendall sheds light on staring into space at coronation after 2 a.m. night out it comes after the conservative political action conference draw poll claims that Trump is the preferred candidate for 62 percent of right-wing voters. These statics show a wide margin above Florida Gov. Ron DeSantis, who only has 20 percent support at the time of the poll, do you think staying in your silo and only listening to people you agree with is going to make that person go away?" The political commentator continued. If we all only listen to those we agree with, it may actually do the opposite, he added, as he addressed the backlash. Don't miss. Holly and Philip missing from this morning promo, latest, Janice Dickinson's appearance sparks concern among Emma celebrity fans, latest, President Zelensky believes Eurovision should not have been held in UK, latest, the CNN host also took the opportunity to call out his own network's decision to put mostly Republican voters in the audience. Anderson said, it was certainly disturbing to hear that audience, young and old, our fellow citizens, people who love their kids and go to church, laugh and applaud his lies. And his continued defamation of a woman who, according to a jury of his peers, he sexually abused and defamed, he added. Anderson was referring to the Manhattan jury's May 9th decision, which was announced just 24 hours before the town hall event, that stated the former president is liable for sexual abuse and defamation. The decision came in a federal suit filed by E. Jean Carroll, accusing Trump of raping her in a Bergdorf Goodman fitting room decades ago, and then defaming her when he publicly denied her allegations. The long-running CNN star went on to say, the audience that upset you? That's a sampling of about half the country. They are your family members, your neighbors and they are voting, and many said they're voting for him, he pointed out. He concluded his opening segment by reminding that his viewers have the power to do something about it. You can actually get involved. You can make a difference, whatever side of the aisle you're on," Cooper said in what appeared to be a plea to get Americans to vote.